again. Welcome to American Movie Classics. I'm Bob Dorian. Tonight is Halloween, one of my favorite times of the year. A time when goblins and spirits of the dead rise up to remind us of our eventual fate. It was on this very evening, back in the year 1926, that the great illusionist Harry Houdini died, promising that one day he would communicate with us again from beyond the grave. Now, in keeping with these a wonderful, eerie events. We have a special guest that's going to present our horror act uh, festival, and uh, <laughs> I think I see him coming now. Good evening. Tell him about the movies. Of course. First, Lon Chaney Jr. terrifies the neighborhood as the frightening son of Dracula. Da! And then the chilling team of Boris Karloff and Ooh. Bella Lugosi Ooh. share star billing in a gangster drama with science fiction overtones. Next. Boris Karloff. Ah! Yes, I know, he's your favorite. And John Carradine and Lon Chaney Jr. all together in a terror treat that pits the Frankenstein monster against the Wolfman, Dracula, and the mad scientist. It's too beautiful. The Otto Kruger and Gloria Holden star in a revenge drama mastermind by Count Dracula's daughter. Yeah, beautiful. As, oh. as an added feature this morning. and a Halloween treat, we present This Is Your Life, hosted by Ralph Edwards, with this week's special movie star guest, Don't tell Boris Karloff. Ah. You'll see the gentleman and the actor behind the great monster image. Oh, this is great. And now... Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I do the movie question. I've always Very done Very well, if you'd like to do it. Well, okay. You may. It might even prove to be amusing. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, here's the answer to you. See, we do the answer first. We don't do the question, we do the because we did the question yesterday, so now we're going to do the answer. The answer to yesterday's movie question, which was, what talented actor, unknown at the age of 42, won a role that would give him instant stardom, but he was not even invited to the film's West Coast premiere? Do you know? You don't look like you even care. The ignored actor was Boris Karloff. You were just talking about Boris Karloff. Happens to be my favorite, and I have a feeling it's your favorite, too, but... You, I'm not keeping you up, am I? Anyway, uh, Boris Karloff, he appeared as the original Frankenstein monster, of course, in the 1931 version of Frankenstein. The studio officials considered him too subordinate to the film's stars, Colin Clive and Mae Clark, to issue him an invita An invitation. Oh. oh, this is gonna be one of these nights, folks. I'll have another question for you later, and I'll be back to tell you more about our first... Well, maybe he'll be back to tell you about... Somebody will be back to tell you about the first feature, but first, let's take a look at it. Where did you go? Hey, you up there? You know that feeling, that hushed expectancy when everyone knows someone's about to fall victim to a practical joke, and you're just waiting for it to happen. That was the mood on the set of The Son of Dracula the very first day. The Irish actor J. Patrick Moriarty reported for work as the police inspector. He was fully prepared to run through his first scene where he enters the morgue and lifts the lid of the coffin and looks in. But since he was an actor, he quite logically assumed that he would be acting frightened. However, what he didn't realize is that Louise Albritton, who was already wearing her vampire makeup, decided to give Moriarty something extra to look at. Before the scene began, she had climbed into the coffin with a, a special costume. But the director yelled action. Everyone on the set watched expectantly. Moriarty crossed the set opened the lid and peered in. They weren't disappointed. Moriarty was genuinely stunned. Everyone, including Moriarty, got a good laugh over it. Then they went back to business. Now, when he was cast as the son of Dracula, Lon Chaney had already played the mummy, the wolfman, and the Frankenstein monster, and all quite well. Now it's time for us to take a look at Lon Chaney Jr. as the son of Dracula. <laughs> 